As it turned out, Tommy had himself a young wife and a new baby girl. Maybe it was a thought of them on the streets or his child growing up not knowing her daddy. Whatever it was, something lit a fire under that boy's ass. Just thinking maybe trying for my high school equivalency here, you helped a couple fellas with that. I don't waste time on losers, Tommy. I ain't no goddamn loser. You mean that? Yeah. You really mean that? Yes, sir, I do. Good. Because if we do this, we do it all the way. 100%. Nothing half-assed. Thing is, see, uh... Don't read so good. Well... You don't read so well. We'll get to that. R. R. S. S. T. So Andy took Tommy under his wing, started walking him through his ABCs. Tommy took to it pretty well, too. Boy found brains he never knew he had. Before long, Andy started him on his course requirements. He really liked the kid. Gave him a thrill to help a youngster crawl off the shit heap. But that wasn't the only reason. Prison time is slow time. So you do what you can to keep going. Some fellas collect stamps. Others build matchstick houses. Andy built a library. Now he needed a new project. Tommy was it. It was the same reason he spent years shaping and polishing those rocks. The same reason he hung his fantasy girlies on the wall. In prison, a man will do most anything to keep his mind occupied. By 1966, right about the time Tommy was getting ready to take his exams, it was lovely Raquel 